Hello and welcome to the third Global Conversation organized by Global Thinkers Forum and uh, Athena 40 on International Women's Day. At Athena 40, our mission is to promote more women in leadership and to bring to the world new role models whose work and life will inspire us. Every March, through the Global Conversation, we connect leading women from different countries in a debate that discusses the role of women internationally, but we also focus on what is happening on the ground, the local stories, the local challenges, and how we can help amplify women's voices and make their issues known to other countries. For centuries, women have been struggling with domestic abuse, war, poverty, unpaid work, lack of access to education, lack of access to opportunities, as well as many more challenges. And the global pandemic did not make things easier for anyone, let alone women. Career-wise, we're hearing stories about women being appointed in top roles and participating at top tables, which is great. And it is fantastic to have the first female, first Black, first Asian-American vice president in the United States, Kamala Harris. Yet the truth of the matter is that women continue to be underrepresented and, in fact, undervalued. We will discuss this later on, so do stay with us. But without further ado, I would like to hand over to Her Royal Highness Princess Sumaya of Jordan, who is honoring us as our global keynote speaker today. A remarkable leader and a role model for women, not only in the Arab world, but internationally, for her dedicated work in the space of education, technology, science, and peace. But she's also known for her kindness, humility, and values. Let us welcome her. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and distinguished guests and fellow speakers, my dear Elizabeth, dear fellow members of the Athena 40 board and the Global Thinkers Forum, both editorial and production teams. I'm delighted to wish you all a very happy and purposeful International Women's Day 2021. The theme this year is one that we can all embrace as we look back at an unprecedented period of trial and of trauma. Choose to challenge. That is the call to women and men who care about equality, opportunity, access, and indeed, maximizing our value and potential as a human family. And I am delighted to welcome you to the third global conversation organized by Athena 40, an innovative platform that promotes female leadership by connecting women to mentoring, knowledge, networks, and opportunities. Under the banner of female leadership, in times of crisis, I know that we are going to hear from some, from some amazing and inspiring individuals today from all around the world. Together, we must all choose to challenge a status quo that deprives girls and women of an equal stake in our shared future. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced our world to pause and has challenged all of us to consider how we live. So many have suffered, whether economically, physically, or indeed emotionally. So many have died. We must ensure that all has passed and all that is still to come before we emerge must not be in vain. We must determine to learn from our experience and to reaffirm our belief in the importance of equal opportunity. To learn, to work, to achieve, to lead and to thrive. We cannot but feel proud of the women who have shone throughout the crisis. Indeed, women's unsurpassed leadership skills during the pandemic have been as revelatory to some as they have been absolutely unsurprising to us. Above all, we must never forget 
that empathy is certainly not a weakness. If anything, it is a superpower. Of course, women's representation in politics remains astoundingly low. Even in so-called advanced political arenas, we often sense that one step forward may quickly be followed by two steps back. And as we extol the virtues of shining female leadership around the world, we must not slip into a dangerous narrative. For why? Why should our girls think they must be infinitely better than their male colleagues simply to be considered for or respected in leadership roles? Isn't this all part of the narrative that implies that a woman's success is at the sufferance of men? Well, today we may choose to challenge that and so many other prejudices and preconceptions that help to question, devalue and undermine the place of women in all areas of social participation and leadership. My dear ladies and gentlemen, from challenge comes change. So let's all choose to challenge. Remember always that compassionate leadership is strong leadership. This is what truly benefits our world and benefits the future that we all deserve. I wish you every success and a very, very happy International Women's Day for all. God bless and Godspeed. Welcome to Athena 40. Athena 40 is a family of initiatives that promote female leadership and invite all leaders to embrace visionary and innovative thinking. By innovative thinking, we mean being open, curious and solutions focused. Athena 40 works closely with some of the most dynamic and innovative minds across all industries in order to promote gender diversity, inclusion and bring more women into decision-making roles. We commit to enabling women to contribute to our economies. We believe that compassion and understanding are necessary values for our societies. We promote partnerships and ideas exchange among women and of course, we include men in all conversations. We fight cliches and tribalism. We propose collaboration instead of segregation. We ignore labels and stereotypes. We recognize the value of diversity as a fantastic source of talent and knowledge. We stand for freedom of thought and expression. Our language speaks the truth. We stand for values-based decision-making and we fight polarization. We are broad-minded and inclusive. We believe in meaningful networking and the need to keep lifting each other up. We mentor, inspire and motivate other women of all ages and backgrounds, helping them discover their own potential. We share and learn from each other's stories. Athena 40 welcomes everyone who wishes to be part of our mission and initiatives, an international community of vision, an ongoing global conversation, a movement for compassionate, innovative, future-proof leadership. Join us.